I knew Ren wanted to have kids. I also knew it was possible for me to have kids and still be a singer. I think the problem was, I was just too scared of being a mother. You're here again? You're the one who called me here. Did you tape the show for me? You keep making such dumb excuses to get me to come over. Hutch isn't a dumb excuse. He's an orphan, just like you and me. I better leave him make you cry. Cry on your own. I'm going to bed. Oh, good morning. Are you feeling better today, Miss Hachiko? Yeah, I'm sorry for making you worry. I think this heat wave has just been getting to me, but I'll go see a doctor just in case. I've got to get better or else I can't go back to work. That's a really good idea, and I think I'm going to come with you. Oh, no, you're not. You have to stay put and finish all of your homework today. Please don't remind me about that. Make sure to study hard, and I promise I'll go over your work when I get back. Thank you. That's really sweet of you. And please promise you won't tell Nana or the others that I've been feeling sick, okay? It's just that I don't want them to have to worry about me when they've got so much other stuff going on. But I'm going back home tomorrow. Aren't you worried about being here all alone? You should at least tell Nana so that she can be here for you. <laughs> Thanks, but I think I'll be okay on my own. Miss Komatsu, the doctor is ready to see you now. Yes, it seems the urine test came out positive. Tell me, do you remember when you had your last period? July 16th? It lasted about five days. If you are pregnant, are you planning on keeping the baby? <laughs> Let's do an exam first, shall we? I'll meet you in the other room. Miss Komatsu, this way, please. Please take your underwear off and lie down on the examination table. You may keep your skirt on if you want. Uh, okay. I don't deal well with inconveniences like that. Okay, Miss Komatsu, please, try to relax. I'll be waiting for you. You are pregnant. Now, this small black circle is the chorionic sac. That little dot you see inside? 
It's your baby. We count the weeks you're pregnant by counting the week of your last period as week zero. So, you're in the middle of the sixth week. If you decide to keep the baby, please come back in two weeks for a checkup. If you wish to have an abortion, well, the sooner we schedule the operation, the easier it will be on your body. You can keep the ultrasound if you like. <gasps> okay. What? He grew up overseas? Which country? I wasn't able to find that out. So I guess you didn't know about this either. No, I didn't, did you? Uh-huh. I was surprised too when Misato told me, but then I remembered. Shin didn't know anything about Tanabata, so all the things I thought were weird about him seem to make sense now. Yeah, I guess so. But his parents are Japanese, so you'd think they would have at least told him what Tanabata was. Are you ready to order? Oh, what are you having, Hachiko? Hmm. I'll have a grapefruit juice. Hey, aren't you eating? I'm not really hungry. Really? Okay, well, we'll have two veggie sandwiches and two cafe au lait. You got it. Nana, do you think you could stay at your place a bit more often? It's just that Hachiko hasn't been feeling very well, and I hate to think of her being all alone. Really? So that's why he seems so out of it lately. Oh, it's just some kind of stomach thing. I'm all right. The doctor even told me so. You had to go to a doctor? That is definitely not all right. But the doctor said I'm all right, so I'm all right. Yeah, but that is so not the point. You're right, Misato. I'm back home starting tonight, so don't worry. That's great. Thanks. Oh, so going back to what I was saying about Sheen. I assumed he was half Japanese, so without thinking, I told him I didn't believe that both his parents were Japanese. And Sheen told me that he didn't believe it either. Then he said that he wished he'd never been born. I can't imagine anyone going through life feeling like that. I don't know what happened to him, but like I told Hachiko, that kind of thinking is like denying his own existence. I'll come back to get you, Nana, okay? No. Rejecting his parents and denying his existence are totally different. Sheen's not a kid anymore, so he should be capable of figuring out for himself why he deserves to exist. You really think so? Yeah, I believe if we put our minds to it, we're all able to determine our own fates. Right now he has a purpose in life, and that's to work hard on our album. Here you are, ladies. Ever since I became a die-hard Blast fan, my life has been nothing but a big bunch of roses! Roses? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nana. Hachiko, thanks so much for everything. Could you do me a favor and tell everyone that I said goodbye? Take care, Misato, and come stay with us again sometime. <laughs> and I promise we'll become the biggest band in Japan to keep giving you a purpose in life. What are you crying for? Come on, Nana, you made her cry on purpose. Misato, you started coming by yourself to our shows back when you were in junior high. I was always worried about you. Back home, I know you don't get along with your parents and you don't seem to have any friends other than us. When you say out loud that my band is your reason for living, other people might think that's foolish. But it means the world to me. You know that, don't you? You know, Sheen's situation with his family has got me thinking. My guess is that his mother probably had an affair in another country, and his parents broke up because Sheen came along. Yeah, I don't know. It certainly seems like that's a possibility. But I wonder why she had the baby. It's such a gamble not knowing who the father is. <laughs> Even if the guy she was having the affair with used condoms, you can't be totally sure. 
You've got to be careful when you're having sex. I mean, the guy might not put it on right. Anyway, all I have to say is Sheen's parents were irresponsible and they're to blame. If you can't raise a kid right, you shouldn't have a baby to begin with. I haven't seen her since I was four years old. She decided to run off with some guy. Too many women have a kid without thinking it over first. <sighs> I don't think she wasn't taking it seriously. Hmm? Maybe there was a reason she couldn't raise the baby right. Maybe there were circumstances beyond her control. But when you get pregnant, it's only natural that you want to have the baby and raise it. <laughs> what do you mean, natural? Well, you see... I can't really explain it. It's like maternal instinct. Is something wrong? Nah, I've been so busy recently, I might not be able to come in when my prescription runs out, so I thought I'd get a refill now. In that case, perhaps I should prescribe two months' worth of pills. <sighs> What's the matter? Um, I have kind of a weird question. I don't really know much about maternal instinct or any of that kind of stuff. Are all women supposed to have it? Well, I like to think so. It's part of what makes us women. However, just because it exists, that doesn't necessarily mean it manifests itself the same way in all women. I'd say that applies to most things. It's one of those internal responses that arise depending on your circumstances. So, right now, if I got pregnant with Ren's child, I might want to keep it even though it would throw a huge wrench in my career and I'd do that not because of Ren but because of my maternal instinct <laughs> I don't buy it my tummy hurts <sighs> how do you manage to come down with a stomach ache every single day <laughs> Do you hate practice that much? No, I hate you that much, Nana. Hachi would be nice and take care of me. Uh, why doesn't Hachi come to the studio anymore? She's just being considerate of our work. This isn't a playground, you know. But Mr. Kawano said it's okay. <laughs> it's not about Mr. Kawano. This is Nana's choice. It's not fair. You're totally keeping Hachi all to yourself. <clears throat> I haven't seen her since the fireworks festival either. Huh? Why not? Well, we practice till late every single night. We both work during the day. We don't have time to hang out. But she's been coming over every single night until just recently. She won't come even if I ask. Maybe, Maybe she's, she's on, on the rag. rag. <gasps> Wait a second. Weren't you with Nana to see Misato off at the train station today? You should have brought her here to the studio. Well, she was feeling a little bit under the weather. What do you mean, under the weather? It's just a stomach ache or something. The doctor told her that she'll be just fine. She went to see a doctor? I gotta go. If you want to get to the top, you won't skip practice even for your mom's funeral. What the hell? I didn't sign up for this. Where do you think you're going? I told you my tummy hurts. Does he really want to do this? At least let him go to the bathroom when he has to. You're such a heartless dictator. I'd say it's more like the both of you are clueless anarchists. Huh? Sheen tends to get a stomach ache whenever he needs a cigarette. Huh? It was way more fun at the old studio we went to. At least there I could smoke, and Hachi showed up too. Like I said before, it's ludicrous to try and get a mainstream chart topper from some punk band. I know you've had this dream for some time now, but you gotta understand. The label isn't gonna throw money into this unless it's a sure shot. They don't have any competition in their genre. If they make it, they'll be big. And doesn't that vocalist Nana just blow you away? Sure, they got a lot going for them, but punk rockers wearing bondage pants? <laughs> Come on, it's a bit outdated. 
Yeah, but you know, teenagers are into retro styles these days. When I was young, I dressed like that. I was <laughs> you know, before we do anything else, we better hire them a stylist. Get their fashion up to date. No way! Anyway, the main problem is their sound. It's not bad, but it's not incredible either. Even the vocals. They're great live, but I'm not sure their CDs will have much impact. Well, that's where you come in, Mr. Director. Well, if there's no money for promotion, I don't want to get involved. Just let it go. If you can't raise a kid right, you shouldn't have a baby to begin with. Too many women have a kid without thinking it over first. If you wish to have an abortion, well, the sooner we schedule the operation, the easier it will be on your body. I'm back home starting tonight, so don't worry. Nana? It's me. <gasps> Nana, open up. Please open the door. Oh, damn, someone's coming. <laughs> you probably shouldn't believe everything I say. Why did you come here? Go away! And what would you suggest that I do if I don't really feel like going right now? <laughs> Nana, this isn't very funny. Cut it out. Uh. Hey, are you all right? Do you want to see a doctor? Is it morning sickness? I'm gonna get an abortion, so don't worry. Uh. Listen, you don't need to feel responsible. I'm the foolish one. For all I know, it could be my boyfriend's. Just go. And please, don't come back. Your boyfriend, Nobu? <laughs> right. I get it. always said garlic's good for stomach aches. So, you are coming over? If she didn't call back, she's probably asleep. At least I'll see her sleeping. <gasps> hmm? It's telepathy! Whatever, just answer it. You're such a loser. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Nobu. It's Takumi here.
What is it? Hey, are you there? Yeah. Turns out Anana is pregnant. I don't know if it's yours or mine, but no matter who the father is, if Nana wants to keep it, I plan to recognize the baby as mine and take care of both of them. What do you think about that? You know, Hachi, I still believe that life is what you make of it. The difference is, now I understand that not everybody can be strong all the time. Because of that, I'm nicer to people now than I was back then. <laughs>